Well, the last 12 weeks have been a lot of fun. It's so interesting to learn what works for other people. You know, when you back up and look at it, it, it trial and error is how we get to a point where something really works, like Mark's green to green strategy, or the guys in North Carolina with the satellite plots, and Jared, you know, wanting to take a small food plot down close to some bedding areas and did it with an ATV. Trial and error, getting your hands dirty, that's what it's all about. And not every tactic that we watched in this show is gonna work for everybody, but certainly there are tidbits of valuable information that can help put you within range, whether that's bow range or gun range, of that next trophy deer. It's so important to, in my opinion, be a good steward of the land. Pay attention to everything you see out there when it comes to white-tailed deer. Pay attention to herd dynamics. Pay attention to just how well your food plots are performing. Are you close enough to the bedroom where you're seeing daylight activity? Or is your field a little bit too large where you're not getting the correct shots? Some of these things and some of the things we talked about not only are going to make you a better hunter, but I also think they're going to make you a better steward of the land because they make you start to think about the equation between the animal, the food source, and your overall hunting activity. And whether you're hunting the upper Midwest or the Northeast or the Deep South or arid regions of Texas or right here in the heart of the Midwest, all of these little tricks of the trades can be applied anywhere that you hunt. And uh, we've even had some crazy people that planted food plots at night. We've seen the inside corners, we've seen outside corners, we've talked about the green to green transfer, we've talked about these little hidey holes inside a destination feed field, we talked about building water holes. All of these things are important. But to learn to hunt your property, you've got to spend some time on it and understand wind conditions. Mark and Terry are as good at doing this as anybody, and watching this show and some of the videos that they produce are so educational. Get your hands dirty. Get out there and plant some food plots. Understand what it takes to manage your property. It's so much fun when you go out there and you have that first deer walk within range, whether that's with a gun or with a bow, in a food plot that you created that worked for you, then that's when it all hits home. That's food plot architecture at its best. And we hope that it works for you because it certainly worked for us.